Hello everyone. Welcome to FMT Guru. We are going to discuss FMG Jan 2023 FMT recall questions. All is a recall question which are memory based question. There can be some changes in the framing of the question or there can be some changes in the option but the overall concept asked in the exam is the same which I am going to discuss in the upcoming 15 minutes. The question number one inquest in case of death in police station is done by the question is about police station. So whenever death in police station police custody the inquest comes under 176 CRPC that is nothing but magistrate inquest. Magistrate inquest. Magistrate inquest. So answer for this question is judicial magistrate the correct answer is judicial magistrate it is not executive magistrate not police sub inspector it is not any of the above your answer should be judicial magistrate is the correct answer let me discuss about inquest what is inquest inquest means enquiry towards cause of death so what is inquest enquiry towards cause of death there can be different types police inquest that comes under 174 crpc so this can be asked in upcoming fmg exam magistrate inquest comes under 176 1 and 176 1a 176 1a is nothing but juvenile magist that is judicial magistrate inquest so JM means judicial magistrate. What are the indication? One is death in prison, police custody, custodial rape. Death during police firing. Exhumation. Remember exhumation, it is executive magistrate going to do the inquest. Death in psychiatric hospital. Dowry death. Dowry death, that is again executive magistrate, 176, 1 CRPC. Corona's inquest, that is not there in India. Not there in India. Medical examiner's inquest, procurator fiscal system. Question number two. Smothering and traumatic asphyxia is a cause of death in. So the question is smothering and traumatic asphyxia. Smothering means closure of the external air passages. Traumatic asphyxia, trauma to the chest, the trauma that leads to difficulty in breathing, inspiration, expiration, asphyxia and death. So this is burking is the correct answer. So answer for this question is burking. It is not bans dola, it is not throttling, it is not Spanish windlass. Okay. The same question was asked in NEET PG exam. So this was the question asked in one of the NEET PG exam. During the years 1827 to 28, two Irish immigrants, William Burke and William Hare. William Burke and William Hare. So this is the skeleton of Burke. Okay. They killed 17 person by a special method known as burking. Sold their cops to Robert Knox, a private anatomy lecturer who used to teach students from Edinburgh Medical School. What they used to do? They used to invite the beggars, friends to their houses. They used to provide alcohol. When the victim was drunk, so they used to throw him on the ground. Burke used to sit on the chest 
close the victim nose and the mouth and hair used to pull the victim round the room by a feet the cause of death is your answer should be traumatic asphyxia and smothering so this was the same question asked in neat pg exam and uh, the same concept was asked in recent fmg exam also so answer for this question is traumatic asphyxia smothering it is also known as body snatcher case primary relaxation is absent in so it's a very simple question primary relaxation is absent in your answer should be cadaveric spasm so primary relaxation answer is cadaveric spasm okay so let me discuss about this so after death all the muscles they undergo relaxation by utilizing atp present in the plasma that is known as primary relaxation after that rigor mortis will occur rigor mortis occurs because of the depletion of atp depletion of atp so rigor mortis then all the muscles after the rigor mortis all the muscle enter second relaxation so that coincides with putrefaction coincides with putrefaction okay so answer for this question is cadaveric spasm it is also known as cataleptic rigidity cataleptic rigidity okay next cherry red post mortem hypostasis seen in so this is one more very very commonly asked question the answer for this question is carbon monoxide poison it is not hydrogen sulfide it is not yellow phosphorus it is not hydrogen cyanide your answer should be that is carbon monoxide poison let me discuss about different colors so that is very commonly asked in the exam black color black color that occurs in mummified bodies and the opiates bluish green hydrogen sulfide bluish violet asphyxia bright pink hypothermia refrigerated bodies bright red burns hydrogen cyanide bronze septic abortion cherry red carbon monoxide chocolate acetylide aniline bromates chlorates nitrates nitrobenzene potassium bicarbonate all these chocolate phosphorus dark brown or yellow color so this is the question asked in one of the exam cherry red is very very commonly asked and black is also very commonly asked question so go through this table this can be asked in upcoming fmg exam a person gives evidence in court is known as a person gives evidence in court is known as your answer should be oral evidence so very simple oral evidence they are not hearsay evidence they are not documentary evidence they are not all the above your answer should be oral evidence remember oral evidence is is very important why because cross examination can be done in oral evidence okay next so now look at this question the same similar type of question was asked in neat pg 2022 this was the question in case of alleged murder of a by b at certain place on a particular day and time c saw b with a knife on the on that day at that place a few minutes before the murder this is dash evidence so this was asked in inict exam 2022 and here it is not direct evidence it is not hearsay evidence it is not hostile witness it should be indirect evidence also known as circumstantial evidence so evidence is the one question that's very commonly asked in the exam so types of evidence oral evidence documentary evidence types of documentary evidence 
all these are very commonly asked in the exam now one more very commonly asked in fmg leading questions are followed in the following leading question can be asked in the cross examination so this is fmg 2022 june question so the question is taken from the same concept only so that is from the legal procedure chapter next question number 6 following are signs and symptoms of acute cocaine poisoning during the stage of excitement except so cocaine is one of the very important question very commonly asked in the exam so except is there let me discuss about this question feeling of well being that is true that is seen in case of cocaine poison tingling numbness sensation that is true that is seen pupils dilated yes that is also true cocaine bugs cocaine bugs is commonly seen in addiction the word cocaine bug is commonly seen in case of cocaine addiction better answer here is d is the correct answer so d is the correct answer this question i got from few students so if the same question as same options are there then it is the d is the correct answer again i am telling you all of you so the concept is very very commonly asked cocaine poison as we discussed in <clears throat> last exam video <clears throat> cocaine is very important topic cocaine is also known as crack also known as snow what is the fatal dosage 1 g it is extracted from erythroxylon coca there are two ways of taking cocaine basically snorting and skin popping it is aphrodisiac crack is a smokable form of cocaine stage of excitement can lead to hypertension can lead to intracranial bleeding stage of depression can lead to perspiration respiratory failure the treatment is amyl nitrate treatment is amyl nitrate so you can see here okay so this is skin popping injection mark skin popping this is inhalational technique and one very very commonly asked question is the cocaine box so cocaine box is a feature of cocaine habits or chronic cocaine addiction okay so that's it about the so few questions asked in fmge jan 2023 thank you